everyone, and thanks for tuning in to FU Awesome. I'm Ajax. I'm Stump. And today, we're going to bottle the adventure with Bottlebox. We have three wines today, ranging from a Riesling to two types of reds. And I can tell you here that we just don't know that much about wine. It's true. I know little about wine. And I really don't know anything about this particular brand or company. So for me, it's like, I drink beer, and then liquor, and then wine. And for myself, uh, my basic knowledge is literally Rieslings are very sweet, and then the reds go great with steak. But above and beyond that, that is all I know. That's, that's more than me. So, yeah, we got uh, some nice ones here. It's a built in a, or a package in a, an award winning wines and eco friendly portable packaging. Pairs well, with, pairs well with everywhere. That's what it says. Pairs well with everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Good choice. So, uh, which one would you like to start off with? Well, I'll just try the, the red Volution. Uh, this one over here? Yeah. Alright. So let's let's um, unbottle it. Uncork it? Yeah. O okay, that's, that, we're good. What? No, that's, that's not what you do with wine. You just, you, know, you do a little bit. Not well, a lot. I mean, you still got half a half glass to fill. That's not how that works. That's not how that works? That's not how it works. Wait, wait. I'm very excited. So I'm smelling this and got, like a, you know, obviously it smells like booze. Uh, doesn't hmm. smell overpowering. Yeah. Doesn't have any, uh, like, bourbon esque or anything like that. But uh, it's definitely, it smells like a red. I mean, I don't know. Can't go into the great it's detail nothing. about it. But it's, it's red. It smells like a red. Yeah. It smells like it's going to taste great with steak. So. All right. Cheers. Well. Okay. Well, as far as wines go, it's got a, a medium flavor. It's not uh, too pungent. I've, I've had uh, different varieties of wines. And uh, I'd have to say that this one's a good one. It's definitely going to leave a, a mark at a party, and you can tell it's bulk, but in the same breath, it's not bad. I, I agree. Um, I don't think it's too bad. Like the the first taste is always like for wine for me, it's always kind of surprising anyway. But yeah, I could I could see you sitting around and uh, drinking this. Revolution, Revolution, very clever name by the way, I like that. I don't know why people do this. Yeah. If you know <laughs> why people, like, swirl it around or take forever to drink it, or, as a Stump pointed out, why only pour a little bit in a big glass? I don't understand that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, you know, it's probably has something to do with smell. And I know that from watching television, that when you're doing taste tests, you historically, you don't actually drink it. You squash it around your mouth, and you spit it into a bucket, which seems unsanitary, but I, I think that's that's how it's done. I'm pretty sure that's how it's done. That's, I think I saw an episode like that on Bob's Burgers, so I'm, I'm pretty yeah. much on the same page. So the cartoons are really our, our basis for everything we're just Yeah, main form of knowledge. <laughs> So oh, yeah, uh, would you recommend this uh, wine for wine lovers and people that are throwing parties? Yeah, definitely for the party goer. Um, if you're a person who likes wine and you want to test it out, I definitely recommend giving them a chance. Uh, this particular red, the Red Volution in California, is a nice, soft wine. I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. Ooh. Thumbs up. And now we're going to try the Dry Rose. Yep. This wine will either transport you to the Hamptons or the south of France. Hmm. You're the judge of that. <laughs> so, I will uh, pour. Can I, you want to put your glass in there? Sure. I'm going to pour it proper. I've been schooled. 
Uh, apparently that's how much you pour wine in a glass. Oh, uh, you need to definitely pour a little bit more. A little bit more than that? Just a little. <laughs> okay, that's good. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Now, oh, you're gonna you're gonna pour proper? Oh no, I was I was gonna pour like what people should pour. Oh, you, like this is this is where you should stop, and this is where I think you should stop. That's, that's and, good. And I think that oh, right, that's there good. you go. There you go. See, now you're mad. They you get a full cup of rosy wine. Yeah. So, uh, for all you bartenders out there, tip? No tip. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a scent. Huh? It smells like the glass. You think there'd be water in here, but I know it's not. It smells like nothing. All right. Well, to nothing. To nothing. Or France. Maybe Our France. France. Maybe France is nothing. Maybe. Ooh. Frenchies, don't Ooh. be mad. Ooh, take that, internet. Okay. It tastes like nothing. Yeah. So, like when you walk in a room and there's nothing there, that's what this tastes like. Unless, or until the aftertaste comes in. Yeah, it's gonna... Yeah, punches in... Not a. Uh, I'm not. Uh, keep it clean, San Francisco. Keep it clean, San Francisco. I'm not a not a big fan of this one. Would you recommend a cold party though? No. Why not? Well, uh, I'll take that back. I recommend any booze for a party, and uh, you should watch uh, some of our videos coming up. But I for this one I, I wouldn't recommend because uh, for me I'm not a I'm not a wine guy anyway. So for me to recommend a wine, it's gotta be, gotta be pretty good. Like like uh, the Red Revolution. Or Red Revolution was actually pretty good, but I would not recommend this one. Uh, what about you? No, again, I'd recommend it. I mean, any four bottles of wine with party food, like that. Yeah. You down this? You think to yourself, hey, the first one was maybe meh, and maybe this is your flavor. It's not mine, but maybe this is your flavor. You're like, oh, this is great stuff. Thank you, John or Jane, yeah. for bringing this in. You family of sons of guns. Yeah, and it, it, it's not—it's not a terrible by any means. Obviously, I'm still drinking on it. I just, it's just not for me. Yeah. Let us know what you think about it. I think you should drink the whole thing. Just do it now. Just, mm -hmm. just look, look, look. If you like just drinking a glass of water. Yeah, you like water. Mm -hmm. I do. I do like water, but I'm pretty sure it's got more of a kick to it than water does. And yeah. we still have one more box to go. So we'll see if uh, Stump gets Ajax drunk. Sounds dirty. It did sound dirty. Stay tuned. Why are we, why are we still drinking? <laughs>
I could drink this all night. Yeah, um, it's a little little too sweet to drink any drink. Yeah, and like I don't know if this camera's gonna catch this, but it's got the I don't know what this is called, but when it drips down and sticks to the glass, that means it's good. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, little drippy drips. A little drippy drip. A little drippy drip. Good drips. job on the drippy drip. If, if anybody wants to know, let me know what that means. Yeah, uh, put it down in the comments and keep in mind uh, we don't know anything about wine. So. I know. So, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thumbs up. To, to Riesling. To Riesling. To Riesling. Riesling. Yeah, I could definitely use one. Right. So, uh, do you want to do a paper rock scissors for a uh, new tagline for uh, the company? Yes, but first, would you take this to a party? Yes, I actually would take this to a party. Good question. I would take this to a party, and I would encourage people to drink it. All right, excellent. Uh, not only is it good, popular. it's uh, four bottles in a box. Four bottles in a box. Gold medal ones. Yeah, four forty. Forty plus. Forty plus. I hope the uh, you know didn't print off like 18 million of these boxes and then win another award. That would be inconvenient. Yes, I know, right? Printing is a pain. Mm -hmm. So, you were saying tagline? Yeah, yeah. so we should do uh, Paper, Rock, Scissors to see who uh, comes up with a new tagline for uh, Butter Box. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> I've got to stretch out. We're going to pick Rock. Are you, are you really going to pick Rock? I mean, I think you're... You tell me you're going to pick Rock. You're really going to go with scissors with paper. Yeah, but I'm going to pick rock. Right? Because now you don't know. Am I just messing with you? Or am I way overthinking this? You're probably way overthinking this. But I'm going to pick rock. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm supposed to make it you. <clears throat> All right. Right? All right. One, two, three. 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 Yeah. Is it one, two, three? Yeah. Or is it one, two, three? Oh. Uh, let's change it up. Let's do one, two, three. Uh, okay. All right. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> rock. Nothing beats rock. So what's the, uh, what's the, uh, tagline that we would present to this company? Bada bing, bada box. <laughs> I would actually love it. I love it. Sold. Trademark. 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 Pay us. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, if you're interested in wine, uh, definitely give these uh, bottle box a chance. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, remember to like and share and uh, recommend what you would like us to uh, try next. Yeah. Um, overall, what would you give them? Like as a group? As a whole group? Uh, for wine, because I don't know anything about wine. Uh, and I, I don't have anywhere to start. I would, I would actually give them probably a seven. Uh, because... Uh, I would definitely drink some of them, but not not the other one. So what, what is a uh, two out of three? Yeah, two out of three. That's, that's a seven. That's, a, that's sixty-six percent. So, I mean, yeah. All right, I'll round up. Seven. Seven. Math. I'll go with a seven too. A solid seven. Yeah. Thumbs yeah. up. Thumbs up. All right. Thanks again, and tune in to you awesome for more drinking videos and a variety of other things that we come up. With.